guys, it's Shahaf or Siegel, however you want to call me, and today we're going to be talking about Norway. I went on a 10 day trip with my family, which includes my brother, my mother, and my father, God bless them. We went to Norway, and to be honest, you guys, I did not enjoy that trip. I'm going to tell you what we did, where we went, I'm going to in include some like vlog footage kind of thing. I decided to try out a new style of videos. I was totally inspired by Ashley Nicole. She posted a video about her going to Vegas with her friends and she did this type of vlog sort of say that she was talking to the camera and then inserting some footage. So I was completely inspired and I wanted to try it as well. So shout out to you, Ashley. Uh, you probably are not even watching this video, but if you are, I love you. So let's just jump into my trip in Norway. First day, we took an overnight boat from Tallinn, which is where I live, to Sweden, to Stockholm city. I loved the boat and it was so freaking fun. It was really fun. We did so much stuff, the activities, they're so fun. There was this like mini escape room that was made by Escape Room Factory, which is my favorite escape rooms in Estonia. They are so good and they're really well developed and I love it so much. So they had this like mini kind of like activity room, so to say, that you needed to do four activities to escape from this room. It's not an hour, it's a, like 25 minutes or 20 minutes, I'm not really sure, but it's super fun. The food that we ate was in the cafeteria. They had this like open cafeteria. So we went to the small cafeteria on the boat just to get like a couple of snacks. And I got me a canned cafe latte from Starbucks and a cheese sandwich. So, yep, that's what's up right now. Loki, it's really expensive, but that's what we ate. Also, in the activities, my brother and I went to the video game room. It was really fun, but you do need to pay money for it. We spent about 20 euros in there, which is a lot for only video games, but it was honestly really, really, really fun. We were like racing and, and like car racing and motorcycle racing, and it was really fun. We also played like hockey, those like, what's it called? This type of hockey, which was really, really, really fun. Fun fact, I became obsessed with Zac Efron. I'm sorry, I'm not obsessed, I'm dedicated. Okay, not gonna lie to you guys, I had a very good dream last night that made me want to come to that trip even more. So, for the past week, I've been dreaming about Zac Efron literally every single night. Last night, I dreamed that I was going to that trip with Zac Efron. Sadly, it was a dream. I could still. Have you heard about knocking? No. One tip that I have for you guys is download a movie on Netflix. That's what I did. If you have any other way to download a movie or a good TV show that you like, I really recommend you doing it because if you don't really have many activities or over the night you might want to watch something so please i really recommend you to download something to watch as well day two we arrived in stockholm and then we were driving about seven hours i think to norway our first town that we visited was lillehammer i think that's how you say it i'm not sure we just went there and we found a camp not a camp but like a camping place to park the RV because we took an RV as well. So, just FYI. Hello, guys. So, after a very, very, very long drive, about like seven hours, we finally made it to Norway. And so, we just parked in a camp and we're well, not in a camping, like a camping place that we can like uh, charge our RV. And the view is absolutely gorgeous. And my brother and I are just going to go around the camping place to see what's in in here like what we can do in here and all that stuff and my parents are currently just cooking some dinner okay first of all can we just talk about this 
view. This is absolutely gorgeous. And you can play beach volleyball, which is super cool. And you can go swimming and picnicking and barbecuing. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Just, just look at the view. The camera can't really tell how beautiful it is from the real life. So, Loki, all the campings are the same. Uh, some of them are rated higher. Some of them are rated lower. I enjoyed the two-star camping the most. It was just the best one. Honestly, all those like four stars and five stars and three stars and all that, it's BS because there are not too many showers and there's a huge line and in some campings, they there wasn't even like, um, like a men's shower and a women's shower, which freaked me out because I didn't feel comfortable in taking a shower in a place that old men can take a shower in. So I just always recommend you to take a shower in the RV if you have an RV. Then we just did like a mini like picnic kind of thing. We just cooked some food in the RV, in the RV's kitchen. We just did a little picnic by the lake. We did some photo shoots with my brother. So that was really, really, really fun.